Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great week. This week I've decided to play with two colors that I haven't played with in a while and those two colors are Neutral Tint and Pyrrol Scarlet. I'm going to keep my project as simple as possible so I can be mindfully in the moment and fully aware of the signals that my body is sending me along the way. Thankfully, my neck is feeling much better than it was last week, but it's still not 100% well and I want to make sure I don't overdo it. So I'll be using this little project as an opportunity to practice certain watercolor skills and also practice some different mark making. The reason I decided to work with Neutral Tint and Pyrrol Scarlet is because these are two colors I know go really well together. I also haven't used them in a while so I feel compelled to play with them. And one of the little mini um, CSY watercolor set that I bought a little while ago has a color in it that looks very close to the Pyrrol Scarlet, but it's an iridescent color and I think it's going to look really neat in this painting. So I'm first starting off by adding my neutral tint and then slowly but surely I'm going to start adding in more color. And towards the end you'll see me add that shimmery, it's not called Pyrrol Scarlet, or Scarlet. I'll, I'll get you the name of the color uh, as soon as I bring it out. Um, but I will be adding some Pyrrol Scarlet. I'll add that color, that shimmery iridescent color, and I'll also add another color from one of my new tin sets of watercolors from CSY Art Gallery called 24 Karat Merc Gold, and wow, <laughs> it's something else. So stay tuned, that's coming up. But for now, I'm just working with the neutral tint. I'm creating a variety of different textures as I'm adding the paint because this will help me uh, with my mark making as well. It'll help guide my mark making decisions. And yeah, I'm just having fun and trying to keep it uber simple so that I don't put too much pressure on myself. Neutral Tint is a color that is very versatile and I tend to use it a lot in my paintings but typically it's a color that I mix with other colors. It's wonderful to mix it not only um, to create areas of darker contrast in a painting um, but it also is a great color to mix if you're into painting portraits it's a really good color to have on hand because it mixes well to help uh, with darkening skin tones and whatnot. And it's just, like I said, a very versatile color. I love it. And it's not nearly as intense as black, but it has some of the dark values of black that I really like. And I tend to love to work with it a lot more than black. In fact, if you notice on my palette, there is nothing um, I don't own a black. <laughs> I have a black in another palette somewhere, but I very rarely use it. Neutral tint, on the other hand, I use a lot. And um, like I said, normally I would be mixing it with other colors, but I thought it'd be neat to, inter to play with it, not mixing it with other colors, but rather trying to use different amounts of water and salt and just trying to create textures and variations in the color value um, so that I can learn a little bit more about this color that I love working with so much.
it's time to start brightening things up a little bit and nothing's going to do that better than that pyrrole scarlet. Even with the addition of this Pyrrole Scarlet, my background is looking pretty plain at the moment. So I'm going to come in with my fountain pen and other tools as well uh, as some iridescent paints and I'm going to start to liven things up with some mark making. I'm feeling very happy with the stippling and vertical lines that I've added to the background of my painting. Now I'm going to come in with some more neutral tint, but this time in a very light wash and later on some more pyrrole scarlet to add a little bit more detail in the painting um, in those areas that seem a little bit too light, like here for instance. So as you can surely see, as I'm adding the paint to the paper, it is very diluted and my brush is leaving a significant amount of water on top of the paper. I could leave it like that and it would dry to probably create an interesting effect, but what I'm going to do is wipe my brush, come back in and just dip it in those dots and the brush will absorb the excess water that I don't want to leave on the paper because I want those little dots of neutral tint to be apparent but I want them to be light. I don't uh, want them to be very dark and the other thing is let's face it if I leave those dots of paper as wet as they are when I first apply them 
it's going to take a long time for them to dry because there's a lot more water. So by me just um, wiping my brush, getting some of that water off the brush, and then dipping it in the circles and absorbing some of that water, it's going to make the drying time a lot shorter. I'm really enjoying this little effect of adding this second layer of neutral tint over the first layer that's already there. It actually looks a little bit like a cobblestone road and I really like that. It's a really neat um, little effect to add to the painting and it makes those areas where the painting is a little bit lighter more interesting. At one point I decided to switch brushes and I am now working with my micro mini brush instead of continuing to work with the brown the round brush I was initially working with. This is only because I wanted to be able to create smaller marks and I also wanted to work with a brush that wouldn't hold on to as much water and then leave more water on the paper. It's as simple as that but either brush works quite well it just depends on what you want to create what effect you want to create. Now I'll do the same thing, but this time I'll use a washed down version of the Pyrrole Scarlet. Now it's time for a little bit of glimmer and shine and I'm going to start off first with my 24 karat Merc Gold. Um, I really love this little paint. It is so bright and so shiny and really for an inexpensive paint, it's phenomenal. I am so happy to have um, this new little paint on hand and I can see myself using it quite a bit. It is really beautiful and it has, um, it's not so much that it glimmers, but it really shines and it covers the paper quite well. It's very creamy. So I love working with this color and I think it's just the perfect color also to go really well with these two colors in the background. Thank you. 
So this color here called Indian Orange very closely, to me anyway, resembles the Pyrrole Scarlet that I was working with earlier, but it has shimmer to it. So I feel like it's the perfect complement and adds it adds a, a really nice little contrast in the painting as well. So I'm going to use it on top of the gray because I think that's going to work really well. But I'm also going to use it in some areas over some of the Pyrrole Scarlet. And what's neat about doing that is that the two colors are very close. So at first glance, you won't necessarily see it very easily. But when the painting moves and catches the light, you will see that there's a little detail there that catches your eye and I really like that and so I'm so excited about this little paint set it's got really bright colors and um, some of the colors also in this paint set are not exactly like um, my magic green that I like so much from Kramer pigments but they have similar qualities to uh, the magic green and so pretty soon I'll create another painting using those colors so that we can sort of compare them with the magic green because it might be a very good substitute for magic green um, maybe not an exact substitute but it could be you know uh, an easy replacement I guess if, if you weren't able to access Kramer pigments in your area it might be something that you could access this little paint set and that it would work um, closely like a magic green or close enough. I'm feeling as though I don't have nearly enough of that 24 karat Merc Gold in the painting. So I'm going to add a few final touches of, of it in uh, little areas here and there. And then I think I'll be ready to call this painting finished.
just a little bit more of that Indian orange, especially in those little gray dots that I have there. I think they'll come to life a little bit more when I add this color in them. Now I feel done. So it's time to remove that tape and move in for a closer look. Oh, the joy I feel when I see those little shimmery paints shining in the light. Oh, I just love it. And I'm so happy I added them to my supplies. That murk gold really feels like a good substitute for star gold. And that Indian orange, hmm, I love it, especially against the pyrrole scarlet. It really adds a nice little contrast in the painting and catches the eye in a very pleasing way. I'm really loving the details in this little painting and what I love especially is that it was so simple and easy to create. I hope this little painting project inspired you to take out your art supplies and give it a try as well. Thank you for making the time to join me on my creative journey. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy creating!